This is a special edition of Channel 7 News. America at war. Israel is bracing for another Iraqi missile attack. Air sirens blare today as two false alarms rattle Israelis. And tonight, word that Israel will react to yesterday's attack. An assault that leveled buildings and left 12 people injured. Hello again, everybody. We are going to be bringing you all the latest developments in the Middle East tonight in this special edition of Channel 7 News at 10 o'clock. But first, we begin with a major story for South Florida, a story that Channel 7 first broke early this afternoon. Eastern Airlines is out of business. After more than 62 years in the airline business, Eastern Airlines is grounded for good. In just two hours, Eastern Airlines will no longer be flying. Channel 7's Michael Williams reported the story exclusively this afternoon. He joins us now live from Eastern's corporate headquarters in Miami. Michael. One employee leaving here said it's hard to believe the old lady will be gone, referring to 62-year-old Eastern Airlines. The official word from Eastern Airlines' public relations wire is that the airline will officially discontinue all scheduled operations beginning at midnight tonight. Sources tell us that liquidation will follow soon thereafter. There will be a news conference tomorrow morning here at Eastern Corporate Headquarters beginning at 10 a.m. Eastern trustee Martin Chagru will hold that news conference to officially announce the end of Eastern Airline. Employees, even now, as we've told them about the official word, are in most cases, many cases anyway, saying no comment. Other people, though, earlier knew that the bad news was soon to come. Here's the report we filed just a little while ago. Eastern Machinist walked off the property tonight, pushing their tools ahead of them. One of them had a sign in his toolbox that spoke about the uncertainty they all feel. Officially, they say they're to come back Monday. Unofficially, they voice great worry. Unofficially, nothing. Unofficially is what we hear by the news. How concerned are you? What are your thoughts? If it is closed, we have to go. Eastern's been struggling ever since it went into bankruptcy court 22 months ago. But last November, Martin Chagru assured the bankruptcy court that with an additional infusion of $135 million, which was granted, the company would be up and running and would not lose any more money after March. It was not to be. We've ran out of money to keep on. If we go any further, there won't be funds to even close it down and take care of the shutdown. There will be a lot of people talking about what went wrong. Jordan Green offers at least one analysis. What went wrong went wrong a long time ago when Eastern told his employees, you either give up income, work conditions, etc., so we may compete in this highly competitive, non-regulated arena, or else we're going down the tube. The union's over there right now on 36th Street bragging how they shut down Eastern. If you notice, they're out on the street bragging, but not in the payroll line. The unions, no doubt, will take great exception to that. They say it was Frank Lorenzo, the much despised boss who came aboard in 1986, who drove Eastern into the ground, according to the unions. At one time, this airline employed more than 30,000 people, pumped $800 million into South Florida's economy, and was considered not only South Florida's flagship carrier, but at one time the nation's seventh largest airline. Not only are all those union people out of jobs and have been for quite a long time, at least a great many of them who haven't been rehired elsewhere, but also the 18,000 employees, pilots, flight attendants, and machinists who came aboard to fill the gap when the unions went out on strike, a strike for the machinists anyway, which never ended. Again, Eastern shutting down, this time for good, all flight operations will be officially discontinued according to Eastern Airlines beginning at midnight tonight. And all sources say a liquidation will follow soon thereafter. Again, a news conference will be scheduled for 10 a.m. tomorrow morning by Martin Chagru. Much more on this story to come a little later in our newscast. Very sad story for all of us, Michael, but you have done a great job reporting it. That's Channel 7's Michael Williams reporting live from Miami. And coming up later in this newscast, we're going to have complete Team 7 coverage of tonight's announcement. We're going to tell you what the shutdown means for passengers and Eastern ticket holders. Some people at Miami International Airport are already finding out the answer for themselves tonight, flying frustrations. It has been a fight to the death between Eastern management and the unions. Tonight, the airline died. Michael is joining us live from Eastern's corporate headquarters in Miami. Michael? 
Rick, as you can see, cars heading out of here from the Eastern Complex here late at night, perhaps for a great many of them for the very last time. The official word from Eastern Airlines, which it put out over its special PR business newswire, is that as of midnight, all scheduled operations are to be discontinued. And sources say a liquidation of this 62-year-old airline will follow soon thereafter. That word coming from Eastern Corporate Management less than an hour ago. And again, it was put out on the PR newswire, which businesses use when they are trying to put out information. So the word is official now. Again, the expectation that this would happen this week grew greatly Tuesday when the Wall Street Journal reported that a shutdown was imminent because Eastern, despite a fresh infusion of almost $150 million in cash last November, simply continued to lose money, that its bookings were not quite what it hoped it would be in December, and that with a weakening economy and a lot of other factors, including perhaps the fact that oil has been up and down and has caused the airline a lot of extra headaches and costed a lot of extra money, all of those factors playing a part here. For weeks and months and perhaps a lot longer than that, people will pick apart all the different factors that may have caused this. Certainly a central one, according to many analysis, is that the long-running labor management disputes that went on here cost the airline dearly. Also, the deregulated environment that made it much tougher to compete. But the bottom line, Eastern shutting down to liquidate. Next week, we are told there will be a news conference here at 10 a.m. tomorrow morning by Eastern trustee Martin Chagru, who will appear before the cameras. A very tough, tough day here for the 18,000 employees who are with Eastern right now. They came to fill the gap after the unions went out during that crippling strike in 89. A tough, tough day. One man went out and said, it's hard to imagine the old lady will be gone. Hmm. Back to you. Michael Williams reporting to us live from Miami International Airport, and we could say a tough day for all of South Florida with a company as large as Eastern and with as long a history as it actually going down. Sally.